Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Sohini from South Bay, California and I welcome you today. So in today's video, I'm super excited to release my first video on ML model deployment. So for anybody who is interested in learning how machine learning models can be made uh, you know, useful to, to, to people. It, it can be released to, to customers in order for them to try it out. So deployment using cloud platforms, that is what we will be covering in the video today. If this is of interest to you, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And hold on for the blog that I will be posting in the description box below in Towards Data Science, which will lead you through a very systematic tutorial that I have released in order for you to try out your own first ML deployment pipeline. So watch out for the video. So let's start with understanding what is machine learning models. Machine learning models typically are in order to understand patterns which exist in data and in order to apply the same patterns that it's learned from some amount of training data to future unseen data sets. And the best way in which you can make your your, your trained model usable is if you deploy it. Deployment means that it is made available to a certain, you know, link, web link, so that other people then can, you know, log on to that particular website and, you know, put their own use case or put their own uh, data set in order to see what the predictions are. And in this case, a lot of times it could be like an A-B test scenario where people provide feedback if this model is any good or not. Now in realistic production kind of scenarios, what happens is machine learning models are generally deployed as a continuous integration or a CI and a continuous deployment or a CD pipeline where multiple people are committing code to a particular GitHub or maybe say GitLab or just a Git repo and from that git repo a build is then created for this particular web app which is then deployed to the cloud platform so this is called the ci cd pipeline now in today's video what we will be looking at is let's say that you have a group of machine learning engineers and they have committed code to a github link and i will be providing you the github link that you can fork and use in order to understand how this whole process works. So what we will be doing is we will be we will be going over this continuous deployment pipeline piece and we will be doing it on, on GCP. So if you want, you can actually sign up for your own GCP uh, you know, account and there you can go through the systematic steps in order to install and launch your own first ML deployment pipeline. And once you are there, now you know what you need to do in a continuous framework in order to keep deploying code to a GitHub account and then to use that code and deploy it as a web app. We are going to learn about continuous ML deployment and I'm actually going to be using uh, this particular um, repo that I have forked. So ideally, if, you know, this is the, the, the main repo. What you would like to do is you need to start here and you just hit fork. If you hit the hit uh, fork, then it, it's going to create a, a fork for you. So I have already, um, you know, forked uh, this particular repo. It's it's on my cloud. I've actually made one small change. So it is a little different. And, and I'll show you uh, what that difference is in a minute. First things first, you need to sign up for Google Cloud. And for, for Google Cloud, uh, again, you get $300 if you just sign up. Uh, you will have to start creating a new project first. So you go up and you say hit new project and you know you give your details and you know you have to add a, a billing account to it. Like I mentioned, you, you have $300 free to, to begin with. But as soon as you get you know your new project, so this is the project, my ML project. This is where I, I will be focusing. So this has a billing that is already uh, attached to it. And here today I will be showing you working with two things. First is Google Cloud Platforms, the cloud build, how to build uh, a continuous deployment in the cloud and how to see the service running in the cloud. So these are the two consoles. Again, I will be putting them in the description box below. That is what we will be running. Okay. So the first things first, uh, what we do is we will download this, uh, this particular, uh, you know, uh, folder we need to see if the app runs locally or not so we are going to cd to the to the app and again cd to the app files and here we are going to say python app.py 
And as soon as this happens, you will see that it says something is active at the local host. So this is what you copy. And if you paste it, this says your first GCP web app runs. Congratulations, right? And so this is how you are, you know, getting a, a hold of the, of the app and it is running. Now, in order for you to figure out if your con continuous, uh, if the health of this app is continuously fine or not, we actually need to run this loop get. So what we will be doing, we will be opening one more terminal inside this request underscore test. And, and now if I hit Python, loop underscore get dot py and this is asking if it's a local test yes it is a local test and you see this is actually running right so and you say congratulations let's try loop post dot py is this local test yes and you see uh, your your data was was output so this is the actually the outcome of your um of the of the ml model that you have so this is the prediction and you see this is telling that the app is actually running so at the local host level this is continuously running so you know that this app works and you can you have actually now uh, checked it on the local system so now the job becomes that things are working in the in the local system we now need to run it on the global machine right now the two things that is important that uh, that we understand that the two significant files that are that are going to help us is the cloud ml the yaml file and the docker file so let's look at the docker file first and i'll show you how you can actually generate a trigger point using either docker or the yaml ideally yaml is is more robust and then uh, the you know docker file is is there after now what docker file does is it creates a, a containerized version of this app so that it can be uh, you know uploaded as uh, as one single entity because there are a, a lot of files right in this whole application so th this is containerizing everything into one place and, and making it as an app so it's very uh, very thin requirements uh, it, it has and so that's the bare minimal format that it has and then comes the the yaml file so the yaml file first it is it is giving you the, the steps so pull the container if it is already built in this case yes we have already dockerized it and then you are giving it a particular name and then what you are doing is is you are you are pushing this this docker uh, you know with all the container tags and then you are calling it for a cloud run so let's uh, go to this triggers uh, the google cloud build and let's create a trigger and in this case uh, what let me call it first first ml pipeline okay and what we want to do is we want Want to look at push requests because pull requests there is nothing much you can do from it so that means whenever you're pulling from uh, from a particular git so here you really want to be looking at the push request because you're continuously deploying it to a particular uh, you know application now the repository is you can either connect to a new repository if you say connect to a re new repository it will uh, let you authenticate to your github now i have already authenticated my my, my github so that's why it is uh, already showing up so i already have the repository here and this is the uh, ml model github and here of course the the branches will also show up so i right now i only have the master branch so that is all i want now if i give the automated configuration as auto detect so it is either going to focus on a yaml file or it is going to look for a docker file right ideally a yaml is always preferred over docker so i just hit create so now that this is this is run we need to do one more thing is in the settings we need to go and we need to enable the cloud run admin this all these by default you see they are all disabled so the only thing you need to enable is this cloud run admin if the cloud run admin is not enabled you will not be able to see the final outcome all right so make sure your cloud run admin is uh, activated and once it is done all you need to do is hit run and this is going to run the trigger it will say that this branch has actually started and you can start seeing the the, the building blocks as they happen so now it's it's done successful and you see this final url shows up this is the url corresponding to where your app has been deployed so it takes a few instants uh, for you to see that the app is running or not uh, you will see your first gcp application runs congratulations right and the same thing now you can actually figure out uh, 
using your, your local host as well python uh, loop underscore get dot py is this a local test no now you're running it at uh, you know at the local host so this is what you copy and you paste here and you see your first gcp application runs congratulations so successful the other thing you want to figure out is if the post runs as well or not so loop post.py this is local no i need to put the address and see it it works so now you have officially uploaded uh, or or built your uh, your your web app and you have deployed it and you have done it as a pipeline sequence and now you can also check the history of the pipeline sequence you can check the history of triggers and uh, you can you know run diagnostics on it from time to time to ensure your pipeline is running smoothly